All right. Can you tell that I just woke up? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. What the hell are we doing here? Where the hell's my Where the hell's my microphone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't find my microphone for a moment. In my settings, I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" Okay. Make sure I can see everything that's happening right now. Lower my headset. All right. Well, I feel like I need a fucking like throat lodging or something. Lodging, lodges. How, how do you pronounce that word? Throat lot. Throat lodges. Lodges? I don't know. I need something for my throat to like open it up. That's what I'm basically saying. I'm not sick or anything. It's just I. I just woke up. You know, somehow, uh, you know, sometimes when you wake up, you get like that flimmy feeling in the back of your throat. It's what I'm having right now. It sucks. All right. So, let's see. How late am I to my own stream? Almost 30 minutes. <laughs> That's not good. Oh. Uh, that's so bad. I'm a bad person. Alright, so. Welcome one, welcome all. My ear just started fucking ringing. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Welcome one, welcome all. To more Danganronpa V3. Hey Mongo, how's it going? Hope everything's fine with you. <laughs> Hope you're having a lovely day. My week's been hell and hectic as fuck. I have not had a break at all this week. I've been working all week. And then when I come home, I've been making sure to get those Psychonaut parts out. And then I also recorded uh, the VR game. Rhombus, uh, what is it? In the Rhombus of Ruin. And I still have all the wires and shit in front of me right now. <laughs> it's pissing me off. Ugh. talk about not being prepared for a stream right now all right i don't even have a cold cup of water next to me i know you're not supposed to drink cold cup of water for like voice stuff but still i would like to have it have it be refreshing but no i got this lukewarm ass water because people in the house keep using all the fucking ice it's pissing me off it's like why the fuck i use all that ice and stop setting the goddamn ice maker to crush who the fuck likes crush ice? Why would you do that? <laughs> what? You need to use more ice to have more of an effect and it melts in like two seconds. And when you're drinking, it just gets all up in there. What the hell? Leave the ice maker on cube. Damn it. You fucking animals. <laughs> what is wrong with you? All right. Ah, uh, so. Danganronpa V3, where we last left off. A wonderful, like, cool, almost a week and a half ago. Um, fuck. When we last left off, we just finished the second trial, and Karumi was the blackened, sadly. Oh my god, Breezy. Hello, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I have to ask you an important question. Have you ever had the chance... To color the artwork you did of Gumshoe. Because <laughs> I, I would like to see a colored version of it. <laughs> uh, he's waiting for me. I feel so bad to have people wait for me. That's why, that's why I've been trying to do more with the YouTube. Right? So that there's some content on the YouTube for people to go see and also be more active on Twitter. I've been starting to do that. Got some got some tweets that got a couple of good likes in there. I make jokes. We have fun sometimes. That's what we do. But um Fucking speaking of the YouTube, uh today was the last part the last part of the one hundred percent uh Psychonauts playthrough went up. So if anybody gives a fuck about that, you can go watch that. Um, but yeah, Danganronpa, we need to fucking, we need to do this. Huh, <sighs> I need to do this for my goddamn self, that's what I need to do. <laughs> uh, we stopped at like a pretty weird spot, I won't lie. 
me. I've been never forgot. Things have been stressful. Oh. <laughs> I love how that's my reaction. My instant reaction is things have been stressful. I go, oh. <laughs> uh, for the past couple of months. Oh, shit. Damn. For the past couple of months. That's not good. Ah, oh, fucking. Do I got notifications running? Let's, let's turn that off. Last time we played this, the game's like, hey, by the way, man, did you know we updated Dragon Ball fucking fighters? Yeah, we just made the game crazy now. <laughs> yeah, but... Man. Yikes. I hope everything can kind of work itself out for you, Breezy. Shit. I know fucking things have been a little stressful here. Things have been so stressful here that I finally had the time... Uh, well, I say at the time, I finally had the opportunity when everyone left out left out of the house, I finally had the opportunity to sneak into every fucking room and replace the batteries and the goddamn fire alarms. Because for some reason, I live with lunatics who don't who don't want to fucking change the goddamn batteries. So I'm every day, every minute on every minute, I'm hearing the fucking chirping of the fire alarms. And I'm pretty sure you guys can hear in the background. But guess what? Now they're gone. Now they're gone, it's quiet, and I like it. I'm finally somewhat sane, and the reason I say that is because after I changed, after the beeping went away, even when I'm still just doing my stuff, in my mind, I hear the beeping, and it won't stop. <laughs> it will not stop. Sometimes I just have to sit still and look around, and I'm like, I'm like, is the fire alarms, do they really need to be changed again? Because they're pissing me off. I don't get how people can live like that. It's like, why why do you want to hear that chirping sound every fucking minute of every day in your goddamn life? Just change the fucking battery. It's not that hard. Remember I asked, I said, where's the battery so I can change this shit? They pointed to a drawer, right? And I opened the drawer and it's just a bunch of dead batteries in there. And I'm like, this is just a drawer full of dead batteries. Like, no, man, just throw them in the freezer. It's like, what are you talking about? What are you doing? Don't throw them in a the fucking freezer. <laughs> They're not gonna come back to life. They're dead. Throw them out. Buy some fucking batteries. Stop being lazy. All right. But let's continue with Dangarampa. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Angie is Atua. Angie's a fucking cult leader. That's what's happening. Either I don't feel like I don't feel like Angie's gonna survive. I really don't. Out of Angie and Himiko, someone has to die. Maybe they both will die. And Tenko will lose her shit. Who knows? Hmm. Did I see Karimi's execution? Uh, no, I haven't. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, actually. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's continue where we left off. So where we last left off, Karumi was found as the Blackened. Sadly, because she's my mom and I love her. My dog keeps walking up to me. Zero, come over here. You're like walking around in circles. Come over here, you half blind son of a bitch. Come on, step up here. Isn't that? I'm trying to grab you, you keep ducking down. Go over there and sit on the bed. Go, go, go make yourself comfortable. Alright. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh my, you all voted correctly, except for Karumi who voted for me. What a bitch. <laughs> you think I forgot? I didn't forget. She voted for me. I was like, what the hell? What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome. The blacken who killed Ryo Mahoshi is... Ku I was about to say Kuru. Damn it. Eh. It's Karumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Very excited. Thank goodness. Phew. Thank goodness. We managed to get through the class trial again. You gotta be kidding me! There's nothing good about that at all. Why why do you have to be Karumi? Yeah. Truly, this result is unexpected. I am unentertained. You can tell by my face. <laughs> Wait! How can you be so calm about it? Exactly. What the hell? No way. But go to no believe it. Karumi was so helpful for everyone, which is exactly why, right? Exactly why. She got tired of y'all bullshit. 
bossing her around. So, towards the end of the trial, Karumi really said something surprising that I want to know more about. She started losing her shit. She's like, I'm doing it for all of you. And I'm like, all of who? Who the fuck is everybody? What are you talking about? I don't think you're talking about us. Are you working for a secret organization? Is it World Ender? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Sam, Karumi, uh, Sam Karumi is also a culprit. Yoo-hoo! Hey, how long have you been lying to us? The truth is... Is that why you took such good care of us? So you can deceive everyone? Huh? You mean she's not my mom? Hey! She was never your fucking mom. Oh shit. Damn it. Hey Karumi, tell me, why? Why are you always thinking about everyone around you? How could you kill someone? <laughs> Human beings have always been selfish, self-centered creatures. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home. They pollute the rivers we drank from. I'll never forgive humans. I mean, animals be polluting the rivers too. They be like, no one tells you how many animals be taking piss and shit in there. <laughs> Magic Kurumi has to do it for her. Exactly, right? Wasn't that fucking- Oh my god, wasn't that me? <laughs> that was Mikon in fucking Degarapa 2. She snapped on a dime. She fucking went. She went, I'm doing it for her. And I'm like, her? <laughs> You're supposed to do it for me. I love Mikon. She's my favorite. She's my spirit animal. When she's not crazy, though. When she's, you know, Mikon, Mikon. <laughs> Uh, no way! But it's really a reason. It's really a reason to destroy them. Some humans are really nice. Shut up! Shut up! Enough with the commentary already. Say. Well, Karumi, were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? How? No, it can't be. She ain't say it ain't so. That was just another lie too. No. I don't think so. I still believe Karumi cares about us. What? And how do you know? Because I love you, Maki, the power of my love for you makes me think about Kurumi. Yep, that's how that works. Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for certain, hmm? That's what a detective would say. <laughs> hey, Kurumi, do you hate me? <laughs> I feel like she hates me. <laughs> she voted for me. Um, Kurumi, are you upset? Because of the important... Because of the people important to you? Um, you mean like from the motive video? So Krumi watched hers after all. Um, Earlier Krumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from someone important in her motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? Oh damn Maki, why you gotta press her like that? The end of Dangarampa is so sad. <laughs> Which one, the first one? Or just in general, because isn't Dang isn't Dangarampa still going? Isn't V three supposed to be the start of like a new thing? From what from what I'm going off of, right? I don't know much. All I heard was that uh, all I heard was that this has no affiliation towards uh Makoto and gang. I do not agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you all what I did, you'll regret what you've just done. Regret. Damn. Spit it out already. Otherwise, we can't accept this outcome. Please. Please, Krumi, tell us. I care about you. I care about you a lot. I know the others care about you too. So please. Understood. Very well then. If you're all so desperate to know, I shall take that request. I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Well, you know. No more lies then. You better just tell us the truth. Please and thank you. Peas and carrots. Yes, I understand. That is correct. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. Mm. As I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Um. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded you your motive video? <laughs> Alright, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was you. What are you saying? Why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? May I? <laughs> so we can sucker punch the shit out of them. <laughs> That won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with everyone. Huh? If you didn't trade with anyone, how could you see your motive video? Hey! 
Perhaps Kurumi received her own motive video. Huh? Huh? You mean she had her motive video from the start? Yes. Correct. No one had my motive video, but me. The video intended, uh, the video's intended recipient. I have no idea why. The fuck's going on? That's not possible, Monokuma. What the hell's going on? Huh? Hmm? I know. I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being switched. What does that mean exactly? The monocup's fucked up. <laughs> the monocup's fucked up. I think I said that earlier, right? I was like, did the monocups fuck up? Because it seemed like they didn't know what the hell they were doing. That can't be right, though. That can't be right, though, because the monocup... You know what? The monocups, quote-unquote, fucked up, but it was all done on purpose, right? Uh, the new art on the side of the stream? Oh, yeah. That was made by, uh, Belby. Uh, their contacts and stuff is in the... It's in the, um... The artist panel on the uh, Twitch page. They did a great job. There's a uh, full version of the art, which I posted on Twitter a while back. I think like maybe a week ago. And it shows uh, it shows everything. It looks great. I love it. <laughs> All this talk about videos being switched. What exactly does that mean? Don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motive videos. No, no. No, I didn't. Uh Huh? Uh... Mm. Oh, was I not supposed to ask that? Did you come screw up again? Huh? Not supposed to. Thanks, Suichi. That one sentence just brought focus to something. There's a mastermind of masterminds. <laughs> We're on some Kingdom Hearts shit right now. There's the masters of masters. <laughs> the person controlling the Mono Cubs and the person controlling Monokuma are two different fucking people. Dumbass! It's all Monofi's fault. She passed them out. <laughs> she passed them out without checking their names. <laughs> what? I didn't know. Monotaro should have checked the names too. Wait a minute. I don't even remember passing out any videos. Um, it was my fault. Yeah? What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. No. No, Mono Dam, it's not your fault. Okay. It's all our faults. I'm sorry too, man. Yeah. yeah it seems I misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah. I completely forgot the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Daddy. I'm not saying that. Hey. <laughs> It's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Father! Thank goodness. What? What the hell is this mushy feel-good crap? You stupid! You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you, dummy bears. I love dummy bears. It sounds delicious. Well, now. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> dummy bears. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. I see. I see. The Monocubs merely distributed the motive videos at random. No, they didn't. They did that shit on purpose. They rigged this shit. Quote unquote random. Receiving my own video was nothing more than bad luck. Oh, I see. So you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? Hey. What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us everything. Yes. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I doubt that everyone will believe it. If that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive video together? That's right! Yes, that would be much better. Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again. I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> How thorough of you. Yet I suppose it's better this way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. After Kurumi had spoken, the monocubs began playing the video. popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, 
This elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day, she was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to make this country great again and transferred <laughs> all his authority to her. Did he have to fucking do? <laughs> Did he have to do the voice? It's time for us to make this country great again. <laughs> no one suspected that the prime minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. And over time, she became the de facto prime minister. Oh shit. Her will is the will of the country. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Damn, who's that lady? She's on my new waifu list. Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. That lady looks cool. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Oh, and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. Fucking sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> we just killed the prime minister. That's fucked up. What the hell, Karumi? Huh? Can't be. Wh what? what the hell, the prime minister? Yes. Well... That's a shocker. Everything you just saw is true, though I only remember it upon watching that video. Remembered? Wait! Remembered? Did her video have like some sort of... Did it have like a little hidden remember me flashlight in there? Was the light of the video there to help her remember specifically? Please hold on. That video is true? What is this? That's ridiculous. There's no way Kurumi is really the Prime Minister. I do not agree. No, it's the truth. I am Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid, and the most important people to me. This is my Are the devotion. citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. But he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. What did I do? You're literally confusing the shit out of me because this makes no sense and I gotta take a shit. I see. I see. A little, little bit of TMI there, huh? I see. So Kurumi was the real prime minister running the country behind the scenes. How do you seriously believe that high schooler can be the prime minister? Dude, she took over a small country. I can believe anything that comes out her mouth. You really don't get it. I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, keyboy talent let him pretend to be human, even though he's a heartless robot. How rude! <laughs> rude. I'm not pretending. I'm still learning. I see. Ah, I see. Well, good luck, I guess. Incredible. I was aware of Kurumi's impressive talents, but Prime Minister. What? Then Kurumi really is Prime Minister? She hold burden of country's future? Actually. The motive video aside, Kurumi doesn't seem like she lied about something like that. Yoo-hoo! Hey, I get that Kurumi's really important, but what about this unprecedented crisis? I do not know. Uh. I don't know exactly. Exactly? Did I just say that? Uh, it's a way to bite my own tongue. Exactly. <laughs> Why can't I remember? Uh, um. With our memories lost. That's. Wait, isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? That is correct. Perhaps it's connected to the ultimate hunt. Huh? Perhaps it was the ultimate hunt. The ultimate hunt is connected to this unprecedented crisis facing the nation. Um. That sent out a crazy sensation. If that's true, are they connected? What is the ultimate hunt anyways? 
I do not know. I don't know what's happening to the nation while I'm here inside the inn wall. That's why I needed to know. I needed to know that the most important people in my life were safe. This is my selfless devotion. Because I am... Because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. My apologies. That is why I needed to escape. If so... So you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in the nation. But... But... If those are the options, of course you pick everyone outside, right? There's just too many lives at stake out there. And we just stopped Kurumi from doing that because we selfishly wanted to live. I don't like that. What should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kurumi's dead... Why? Does that mean we pretty much destroyed the country? What did we do? W wait Say... What's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? The same thing they did before, fucking kill it. <laughs> High school prime minister sounds like an anime you might watch. You know what, There not there a book series? I'm pretty sure there's a book series that exists called, uh... What is it called? Kid President or something? Something like that. I don't remember what it was. I read it when I was like in middle school or whatever. It was like this kid who got elected president. Because he was just so great, apparently. You know how many people live in this country? Like a hundred million, easily. Always messing around. No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way they could really... Bears do not lie. Why'd you say it like that, Monokuma? Bears do not lie. <laughs> hey, um... They're taking like an oath up there. <laughs> was there a bot? What do you mean, was there a bot? Like, in the chat? I'm not sure. I know, in the pre I think it was in the previous stream, there was... I can't tell if it was a bot or a person, I'm gonna be honest. There was someone, I forgot the name of it, because I'm, I'm definitely about to fucking spill the beans on that shit real quick. Let me look that up. It was, uh... The fuck their name is? Their name is gone. Oh shit, it's like deleted from the whole entire thing. It was like frag fraglities or something like that. And basically, that was like an account run by someone who just would go after anyone who used like tags like, you know, their race or like mental disabilities or fucking or LGBT, which I have on mine because I am a support har, right? Fucking, yeah, they would go around and just fucking, what you call it? Want to get famous? Put bots on. <laughs> Buy bots on free dot bots. I love bots. They're great. <laughs> Not really. Bots are so bad. I don't know why. I don't know where they come from. I don't know what purpose they serve. They really don't help with anything. I think they're just there like monitor shit. Buy some shady ass people. I'm the ruler of this world. Nothing's beyond my power. Huh? What do you mean by this world? Hmm. Nothing's beyond your power. What kind of arrogant, ridiculous... 100%. That's 100% a lie. It's impossible that he could bring disaster to this country. He's already done it. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? That's so funny. Cause... You guys act like you can't believe it. But you're all terrified anyways. Shing. If you can't... If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason. Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animals that tell lies? They're not the only animals that tell lies. <laughs> My dog lies to me all the time. I'm like, did you do... I'm like, did you do that over there? And he looks at me and goes, no. I didn't do it. <laughs> Shut up! Cut it out. This is serious. How long are you gonna keep talking about Kurumi? Dang it! Let's talk about Ryoma. It'd be a shame to completely neglect him. Oh, I see. That's right. We know your motive to kill, but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? He had a death penalty anyways, didn't he? That is. Because he was easy to kill. Damn! <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to say that. I mean, a part of me in the back of my mind was like, did she just choose him because he was an easy guy to pick? Because he's because of his small stature? <laughs> Easy to kill. Weird. 
Hiroma not that weak. When he used his Suguchi method, even Gonta could not catch. I do not agree. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Huh? What? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Um, what do you mean? That is... I told him I had urgent matters to discuss and to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. There, I revealed my motive video, and afterwards I told him. That is correct. I'm responsible for the lives of every citizen of this nation, so I must get- Oh, so he accepted to be killed. He then responded. Got it. So, you got a reason to survive. That's the complete opposite of me. <laughs> That's good. You're... If you got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then? He turned his back toward me. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> At that moment, my determination solidified. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew. He forfeited his life right then and there. That is correct. Yeah. And Kurumi says, Among Us. <laughs> my talk is mono damn. My dog's a little conniving bastard. <laughs> I'll turn around, I'll be like, what are you doing over there? Put my shoe down, and then he'll just look at me with a shoe in his mouth, and he'll just walk away. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? You can't even wear them. And that's when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. But then... oh. Thanks for the follow, Banda? Is that how I pronounce that? Let me, let me get a better look at that name. <laughs> Banda, yes. Thank you. Bandled? Banda. It's Band-Aid. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for correcting me. I need people to correct me more. <laughs> Especially when I fuck up these names. Except for in, uh, except for in Phoenix Wright, though. When I fuck up names in Phoenix Wright, I'm just gonna keep fucking them up. The whole entire playthrough of, uh, of Trials and Tribulations, I'm just like, yeah, good dot. And no one, not a one person, decided to fucking say, oh, by the way, it's pronounced good dough until the ending of the fucking playthrough. Thanks for making me look like a jackass the entire time, guys. <laughs> then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed. Have I played the first and second Danganronpa game? Yes, I have. I played Danganronpa 1. I played Danganronpa 2, which my first playthrough of that is on the YouTube, but that was recorded a long time ago when I sucked, and I still suck, but I sucked even worse back then. But that playthrough's still up there because it's my first playthrough of that game, so if you ever want to check that out, that's there. Uh, yeah, but I played that, I played Ultra Spare Girls, I watched the Danganronpa 3 anime, and I read Episode Higakure, Danganronpa If, Danganronpa Zero, uh, what else was there? There's also the manga Killer Killer, which I never finished. But I did read a good bit of it. And I think that's everything I know about Danganronpa. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed. But... Wait a minute. It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? What? Because... Ryoma only gave up on his life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since you didn't watch his motive video, I guess you had no reason of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait! Wait a minute. You're talking as if Ryoma saw the motive video. Didn't you say that he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Mm -hmm. Huh? Did I say that? Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know... I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone has to step up and speak for poor Ryoma. I told you. Uh, wasn't there a Danganronpa 2.5? <laughs> there was a, uh, there's Danganronpa, um, you might be talking about, what is the name of the fucking collection? Is it Danganronpa Reloaded? I think that's the name of the collection. It's, uh, Danganronpa 1 and then Danganronpa 2, uh, in a collection. And then when this was coming out, they put out Danganronpa Trilogy that was only... I think it was only in Japan, and then now there's, now there's the, what's it called? 
Dangarampa Defiance or whatever the fuck. I don't know what it's called. The one on Switch. That you can also buy the side game to. Oh, you mean Despair Girls? If you mean Despair Girls, then yeah. <laughs> I'm still thinking maybe I might do a playthrough with Despair Girls because that's not a visual novel. Again, what's your point? That he gave up his life because I showed him his motive video? Um... I'll get to that in a sec. But why did you think Ryama wanted to see his motive video? Because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Maki? Why? How do you know that? What? Swap motive videos. Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because once you watch them, you got a motive to kill. But... But if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any ideas who'll be in the video? No. I don't know. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> Once I know I've got someone important to me, I have a reason to live. Jeez. If I got a reason to live, then I got a reason to escape with you guys. In other words... In other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. Please. So please. Aww, sad Maki. That's true. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, it was about Nagito's POV or something. Oh, um, there is a manga. There, are... Danganronpa 2 is the only fucking game in the series that doesn't have an anime or a full manga adaptation. I'm not sure V3, well, V3 doesn't count because it's still pretty new, but... Danganronpa 2, the only way you can get the full story of Danganronpa 2 is playing the game. Which pisses me off whenever I have to, whenever I try to recommend this series to anybody because it's like, Danganronpa 2 is pretty fucking long. Because Danganronpa 1, they kind of got, they, they, uh, they give you like a little bit of time with the characters and then they get to the trials because they want to, they got a story to tell, right? Danganronpa 2, they want you to connect with the characters way more than the first game. So you spend a lot of time with the characters. Like, a lot of time. <laughs> it's too much time, really. But, um... Yeah, that game's pretty fucking long, and there's like two Danganronpa... Well, there's three Danganronpa uh, mangas for Danganronpa 2. And the last one that just came out was uh, the one from Komaeda's point of view. So, and since it's from Komaeda's point of view, you don't get the full story. <laughs> so weird. So weird. I don't know why I don't... Just add... Dangarapa 2 is my favorite. Just fucking make it a full manga or something. I don't know. See? It's Ibuki and Mikan's shit name? What you talking about? Thing Rampa 2 is your favorite. I love Thing Rampa 2. Soundtrack's amazing. Soundtrack is amazing in this game. I love the soundtrack for this game. I don't like... I gotta say, the one track that I haven't liked was, like, the opening soundtrack. I felt like it was a little too much, right? Alright, let's see. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Which means you shouldn't have showed him his motive video in the first place. What do you mean? What does the video show? Nothing. His motive was empty. He had no one in his life? Oh, shit. Huh? Empty. Oh, we're up next? Let's give it a watch, shall we? He had nothing in his life. All right! Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... God. This message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Sorry. 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 Yikes. No one? No one was important to him? Always messing around. That's what he was shown? If he saw something like that, he had none to care for and none who cared for him. 
he found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Krumi claim his life. I see. So that's why. He must have just watched the video before I summoned him to meet with me. It can't be. He just gave up then? Damn. To hell with that. Damn moron. But, but... It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to have too many reasons to live. Because... That's why you... <laughs> that's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Krumi? For too many reasons? Yes. You're free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden for being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. For everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I need to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. My apologies. I wanted to live. <laughs> Monokuma, going to have question. You need something? Oh, what is it? Hey! Can Gonta be blackened instead of Kurumi? Huh? What? Gonta... Gonta not smart boy. <laughs> Gonta... Don't say that, cause... You fucking figured out a question that I was looking for the answer to. But even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. <sighs> Kurumi should live, not Gonta. World needs her. Um... I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kurumi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> Krumi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Krumi's survival will result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Oh, geez. Jeez, maybe it would have been better if we'd gotten the culprit wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, man. If Krumi survives, then the nation's future would be secured. Then what was the point of me doing all this? And what the fuck was the point of me doing this? Why did I reveal the truth? What if a ton? Was I wrong? I should have. Suichi. What kind of face is that, Suichi? If you're my psychic, then suck it up. Huh? What? Hey! That goes for all of you. To hell with all this value of life shit. All right. Life's not just put a price on it. The price on it. Kaido. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. I mean... My neighbors? I barely know those motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't talk to them. My neighbors? What the fuck you talking about, Kaido? Gotta be a Japanese thing. It's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's supposed to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. Of course! So, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I wanna live, damn it. I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna die here. Jeez. That idiot's talking again. But... But he's right. I mean, you're right too. He's an idiot. But he's our idiot. And we love him. <laughs> Let's kill Monotami Kogichi. <laughs> I second the motion of killing Kogichi. I think that will serve everyone a better purpose. <laughs> yes, even your neighbors. Fuck my neighbors. So divine! Yep, he's an Atua damned idiot. <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up! Shut up! I told you to stop calling me an idiot. It hurts my feelings. But... Maybe his stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Yumi certainly does look shaken by it. Huh? huh? Shaken? You lying to me? Because... You really think someone as desperate to live as Kurumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up even now. Oh, you tried to play us. <laughs> she did it for a good cause, though. <laughs> she was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Huh? What? But... But Monokuma would never allow a black to escape punishment, so maybe... She wanted everyone to rebel, so she could use that as a cover to escape on her own. <laughs> How about it, Kurumi? Am I close? <sighs> You're the most detestable cretin I've ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet allow me to explain anyways. Huh? Wait, what he just said was true? You mean... Try to trick Gonta? Try to trick everyone? Really? Seriously? You backstabbing cunt. 
Cut it out. Enough. She's just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That is correct. That's right. I must survive. Because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would have not killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must live. So no matter what, I cannot die. That's why I killed Ryoma. Even now I refuse to give up. Huh? Jerumi. I see. You still refuse to give up? So, what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive, no matter what it takes. If I must disface myself, so be it. I would drink filth and eat <laughs> oh shit. Eat Creon to survive. I will survive! Carry on? Creon? Cre How do I pronounce that word? I know what it is, I just don't know. It's hmm. Is it carry on? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> I'll do anything. Anything to survive. She screamed and she started running. Oh damn it. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was a complete undignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die here. There's no way I'm letting you out of here. It was ugly and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. R run! Damn it. Run, Kurumi! Please run! Hurry! Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Why did you? Damn! How come he didn't say run? Hey! Like I said, I'm not letting you leave. Please! I will live. I refuse to die in a hellhole like this. Now then. I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. For my nation. For my people. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! I will not die! I got fucking spoiled over that? <laughs> what? Okay, well... Time to come a little clean here. So, earlier in the playthrough, at the beginning of this playthrough actually, I said I got spoiled three times in this game. And remember when I said there was a video that I watched where they were like, Here are the most tragic deaths in gaming. Ha ha ha, and I was like, eh, 
what's the chances of Danganronpa happening? Because the person making the video never talks about anime ever, so whatever, right? When they when they went they went number whatever the fuck Kurumi from Danganronpa V3, and I instantly turned off the video, right? Fucking. I was like, wait a minute. So I was so that's when I found out that Kurumi was gonna die in this game. And I, I fucking hated it. I hated it so bad. But in the video it said most like most like gruesome deaths or whatever. Not gruesome, what what was it? It was like most fucking like saddest deaths or some shit. I don't know. It's like Kaede's death was pretty fucked up compared to that. I mean, of course the, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Inclination, I guess, maybe? No, maybe that's not the word. Of course, like, the implications of the, uh, of the fucking execution is pretty bad. But even, but Kaede's was way f more fucked up. <laughs> I uh, never thought he would do it. He would kill a bear with glasses. You never heard a guy with glasses, right? No, I see what you did there. You heard a guy with glasses. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got spoiled over that. Come on. Come on. Whoever made that video. Person who made that video. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece. Of there is no reason for you to spoil around, but They just did it. <laughs> there was no reason for me to watch the video either. But still. Damn. So, I knew Krumi was gonna die at some point in the game. That's what I'm getting at. I didn't know when. And fucking... <laughs> oh, man. I didn't know when. I didn't know the reason behind it. I didn't know that she was a prime minister. I didn't know any of that stuff. I just knew that she was going to die. Right? But... I was expecting more of like a more of something else you know like my my hopes for the execution was high but it wasn't that bad because <laughs> all she really all that really happened is she got cut up she didn't get like she didn't get like uh it's not like fucking the saw went completely through her or something right she got cut up and just fell right it sucks though it was torture but damn i'm kind of mad now I'm mad. I was expecting more. Alright, well, at least that means I have one more spoiler to get through in this game. <laughs> the last third the last and third spoiler that I have in my mind. Uh hopefully it doesn't turn out to be I guess for lack of a better word, disappointing. But whatever. Really? Hi Mono Dam. Why'd you kill Monosuke? Oh, he throws up too. He throws up ramen. It's okay. If you need to vomit, let me out. <laughs> You'll feel much better afterwards. Oh, let me out. Let it out. <laughs> Manosuke, he was no different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. It's fine. We don't need him. Yeah? Don't need him. Let's get along. We see remaining Mono Cubs must get along. We are all friends. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even father can stop us from getting along. I will not forgive that. If he if he knows what is good for him. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, what? Wonderful. This academy belongs to us. The age of the mono cubs begin now. <laughs> How dare you take that rebellious tone with me, young man? Nice. And yet, this angsty attitude of yours is so cute. They're so cute. So cute, you little crew has shrunk by one number. Yep, shrunk. You're not getting any larger, you know. They're so it's so unbearably cute. cute. All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. How horrible! <laughs> Ugly bitch. Ugly bitch. What? What are you calling an ugly bitch? Stop it! Doesn't matter. Now's not the time for that. <sighs> Kurumi. I don't like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kurumi was killed so brutally. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. You lying piece of shit. 
I'm gonna end up like that too? I'll protect you. I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let's just stop this killing game. I don't care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh, is that what Atua said? Cause Atua says so. All desires, even your desires to escape this place can can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> it's Monokuma who's the culprit. He's the one who distributed the motive videos. I see. <laughs> the Mono yes. Dam Uprising. <laughs> Listen, Mono Kid dying didn't feel anything. Monosuke, why you gotta kill him? Come on, he was cool. Now you got these fucking losers left. <laughs> Those videos were more dangerous than I thought to have driven Karumi that far. That's true. What worries me is as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. Perplexed Maki. <laughs> the face of a perplexed Maki. That's why. I that must be why Kurumi did not want us to show the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage that she did, this killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey! If that's the case, then we really shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course. That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. However, I had ashamed, ashamed. I had assumed Koikichi would try to show our videos to get under our skin. But, that did not come to pass. What I wonder, were his intentions? I never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kurumi said. Uh, um... What Kurumi said? Everything you just saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching the video. That's... What she said earlier, correct. Huh? Huh? What about it? Uh, um, she said she remembered, and it didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Maybe the video had the properties of the flat. See, that's what I was thinking, right? It's like, was it to her specifically? What? The properties of the flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kurumi remember something she never should have forgotten? Sure, the entire nation seems to be too important for her to just forget. Mm. That's true. Does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? Hmm. If that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the motives, we won't know our motives. Uh, okay. Yeah, now I'm convinced. It's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess up. <laughs> would mess us up. It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best that we not remember our motives for everyone's sake. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've heard yet. That's so mean. How rude. I always do stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. I'm sure... <laughs> he instantly goes, it's a lie. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Um, but maybe seeing Kurumi's final moments has made me change my views. Because... She tried to escape until the very end. Running away to live might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe. Maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay if someone it's okay if, uh, it's okay to run sometimes. You just gotta win to the, you just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. A pre a pray 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 pray? Pray. That's how you pronounce that, right? A pray victory. We had we had still lost a friend. What is the end? What is the end Kaito spoke of? How do we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. When we returned from the courtroom, the area was already blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why you? Like you even had a brain to use. I won't forgive you. Anyways, this killing game's over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. As long as we listen to Atua, we'll all be fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just, even when all the bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But, but stars are here. Stars here are different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. 
Are we looking at a projection? Uh, um... Different. Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah. Don't to looking, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Far away. Hey, so... Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Right now. now, now? It won't take that long. Just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well then, what is it you have to say? Um... Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? But that's ridiculous. There's no... There's no way worse liar than me. Wait, what? There's... Okay. <laughs> My bad. My bad, I had a stroke. <laughs> but that's ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in the group. Huh? A liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? Oh my god. You point that finger away from Maki. What? How dare you? What do you mean Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? Blackmail? Um... Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So, he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like, If you don't show me the motive video, I'll tell you everything you... I'll tell everyone who you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Hold on! Why would you... What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Maki? Maki? Hi! For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. <laughs> you know... This is an interesting turn of events. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? I knew she could kill. <laughs> you just take one look at her and you go, she definitely can beat someone's ass. I now love Monkey more. And if she dies, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> you want to save your game? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Chapter 3 from Beyond the Grave Daily Life. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building, and waited us there was an unexpected sight. Ah, shit! Come on, man! What the hell is this? Mm. It's like a weapon warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's in the aunt, the ultimate child caregiver. He's the ultimate assassin. 
Maki's the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the motive video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her motive video. And because you saw that. Mm hmm? Hmm? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> Anyways, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she that she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah, you could probably snap my neck right now. But that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Sky's falling, chicken little. I was thinking about that too. <laughs> the sky is falling! Is the sky is a piece of it dropped on my head? And Oh guys, come down, it's just an acorn. But what the fuck oh <laughs> I looked at I looked at the word why you never see the word why ever nowadays, huh? That really gave me like a heart attack. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because assassins hide to do all their killing. Wait, what? Because assassins hide to do all their... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know why that didn't sound right to me. If people find out they're assassins, they can... Oh, they get all cautious and they kill everyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? I don't think that's the case. I mean, she had access to a bunch of weapons. I think she was just kind of watching, you know, keeping guard. She's like, can't let no one in here because here's where all the weapons are and it will be really bad really fast. Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She had so many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data. Please. Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do with me. She didn't try to kill you. She just, you know, she put some respect on it. <laughs> That's what she did. <laughs> she said, you put some fucking respect on my name, though. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her. But what about next time? Says so. That's like sleeping God's lie. The talent of a killer. That's the biggest threat of all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. Mm. I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? He's like, what? He's like, I'm not going there. Yeah, that's right, Gonta. Go ahead, do it. I keep forgetting I have this. Let's see. We'll see I'm not about, so that. Sure about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. Well, the Gonta's like, what? Because I'm big? <laughs> it's not happening. Got it! I'll help too. I don't want a killing. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Wait. You don't have to take this that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack! A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. I like to hit her from behind. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't. <laughs> I had to. Sneak attack. Strike before she does. Should an Aikido master be saying those things? Does it matter? The survival, man. Fight dirty. Throw sand in her eyes. It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atu and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom poms out of my mouth. Wow! Wow! It's kind of kind of peppy cherry magic will make everyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Ugh. Ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Huh? Kaido, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Okay. Let's leave everything to Kaido. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Uh, okay. Wow, you just went after him, didn't you? Come on, man. Hey, Gonta. Like I told you, man, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Well, well. Oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Monokuma! 
Stay back. Everyone get I love he's like, I don't need your reactions, and everyone's like, quick, react. Let me kill, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. I don't think that's how that works. Quiet. <laughs> As you said, I don't need your usual reactions. It's almost halftime, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figure I'd give you all a wonderful prize. I said I figure I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Oh, oh. Huh? My adorable little cups aren't coming. That's strange. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like how Monodam did that. Yay! They're finally here! Oh, you're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Just wow, you guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? Uh, the shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me go bald. About to fall out. Ew. <laughs> that looks, looks more like scabies. <laughs> He's actually balding? Gross. I'm cold, very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry and give them the prize? It's too cold. Can't stand it. Hurry, I want to go somewhere warm. What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? From now on, I will be calling the shots. Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you've become predictable. In the age of monocubs now, out with the old and with the new. What? God, please let's not have the age of the monocubs. I don't, I don't want, we don't need no more monocubs. <laughs> please. Looks more like an allergic reaction. It does. It's gross. <laughs> but... <laughs> but what about all that time? What about all the longtime fans who? Anyways, we're just uh, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work with your tan? Work with your tan. Work on your tan. Has-been. Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really? What the fuck, Monaco? <laughs> you just sit there. He's like, fucker, 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 you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? You were saying. Eek! Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the Exosols. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father. But the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. No way! You say that treating you kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the worst! It's completely and utterly wrong. No way! He's balding again. It seems the shock made him bald this time for good. Now then, as the new headmasters we have for you bastards, a wonderful prize! Let's see what the prize is this time. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Ninja scroll? I like anime. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo, bravo. We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. Hmm? I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man. oh man. We didn't need more junk. We'd have way too much anyways. And his name is Kibo. That's robophobic. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant... Or I have no fucking hiccup. This intolerant language... Intolerant? Was that even the word? I just read what was there. I just read what I thought was there. <laughs> no fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually, 
I had to yawn. Also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've gained more of your memories. Jeez, those cups suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I recorded your <laughs> I recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so So <laughs> You guys are assholes. Oh shit, I did not mean to skip that. What do you say? <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Yeah. New area means we can all have lots more fun. I don't know... I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school secrets. Okay. Is that the... If that's the case... Then we'll deal with the murder... With the murder girl later. God damn it. Listen up. Leave Maki alone. She's cool. Hey, bro. I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Okay, got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come and get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. <coughs> Fuck. I had to sneeze. But. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Uh... Let's just leave him here. I suppose I should go try out these items. I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. I want to know what this is about, this cape. Her walking around in a cape. Why the hell are you... Oh, I was about to say, why the hell are you here, Kaito? But I forgot. I'm working with them. He's the Scooby to my Shaggy. Huh. I knew this was weird. I was like, I was like, huh, this is a pretty weird door to have for a, for a caregiver. Shouldn't there be like, children's paintings or something? Huh. What the fuck are you doing here, Angie? Alright, so we have a hammer, a key, and a ninja scroll. Well, I know where the ninja scroll's going. That's for sure. Oh, I can't fast travel, damn it. Well, the map definitely just gave away one of the locations. Which was, which was what, over here? A key, a hammer, and a, oh, a video game door. I'll use the key, there we go. Door collapse. Looks like we can go in the back now. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jest. I don't trust you, Kyo. A world full of jest. I suppose that's true. Staircase, we can now go to the fourth floor. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry, Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thank you, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Call him Tuxedo Mask? A fucking muscular tuxedo mask? Um. Tuxedo essential for gentlemen, but mask too? Yeah, if you're going to masquerade ball. Well. I should go. I'm gonna assume that. I'm gonna assume that uh, Sugumi's fucking research lab is up here because it was past a video game door. Oh, this looks weird. The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing uh, it. Um, What's going on in here? Actually, so, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop! <laughs> She's like, well, this is made up, but supposedly a murder happened here. <laughs> If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um. Oh. By the way, she's... <laughs> but she said it's a made-up story. So that means it's okay, right? So long. Farewell. 
You guys just came here to say that? What the fuck? <laughs> Look at this fucking corpse party ass place. Oh god. Huh. I'm gonna assume this is for Kyo. I'm gonna assume this is his research lab. This must be the door to the ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab it is. Well, let's look inside. Yep, yeah, it's yours, Kyo. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. Listen to this fucking music. Hey. I like this. It's pretty cool. There's various objects stored in the sh uh, stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. <laughs> this would appear. This is my lab, the ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. It's a. Stop touching yourself in front of me, Kyo. He's like, wonderful. <laughs> so wonderful, my face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who bought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point in thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Alright. Well, what can we look at? There's a door. There's a funky looking statue. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just by looking at it. Could it be? That's... Incredible. Oh, can it be? I never... Out here doing JoJo poses. I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to the particular, particular, peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can oh. this be? There's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect for what? What is? What's a statue in a cage for? <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in my life. Today is a monumentous day indeed. He's so focused on that, he's not even listening. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a dog statue in a cage. It can't be. Gonna get ready for bed now. Let's stream and I will get the coloring drawing. <laughs> Promise. Hey, listen, my motto is I make no promises. So <laughs> I promise nothing. Good night. All right. Have a great night, Breezy. Thanks for stopping by. The next, uh, next stream is going to be... Oh shit, when is the next stream going to be? I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be Wednesday night, well, Pacific time, Western, West Coast time. It'll be a uh, Wednesday night, East Coast, it'll be Thursday morning. I'll, I'll just put it, I'll put it on the, on the stream thing when I change the titles. I think that's a nice way to update people. Alright, investigate a little bit more. So what the hell is this shit? It's packed with books and scrolls. They're all withered and old. That's true. I don't think I can read all these if I had a million years. Okay. I'll investigate around here a little more. Well, let's look at the weapon. There's something in the case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's a golden katana. It wouldn't perchance be the one from the first thing I'm up, but now would it? It's rusted in places, but it looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. You were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it's merely coated with gold leaf. It's the it's the katana from Dangarampa one. Okay. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Like I said, the katana has immense anthropology and per uh, Anthropology, anthropological, god damn it, value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals and wars were worshipped as gods. That is, uh, this is one, this is one such katana. It's extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look. Kokichi suddenly popped between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <laughs> What? You mustn't touch it without- Okay! Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Kikichi completely ignored Kyo's warnings and unsheathed the sword. Mm. 
How's this katana is the now this katana is the real deal? It's even gold plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm. I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly, or. I'll tear out your nerves. Ooh. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Don't make such a scary threat. Kokichi slid the sword back into the sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa! Ew! My hands are all sticky. Gold plated flakes. The gold plating flakes off so easily. But I guess that's just what makes it authentic. Oh dear. Yes, it's very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In an event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. If you do it again, I'll tear out your nerves. Please don't. I get it. Scary threats really aren't necessary. So, that's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. Alright. And what the hell is this? There's a book in the display case. The bookcase is full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This looks like it was bound by hand. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With, with steady, careful hands, he took the book from the uh, took the book from the showcase. Incredible! It is. How amazing! It's actually real. Um, what is that book, Kyo? Uh, is it extremely precious me? document? Kyo, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? You uh, you don't seem pretty well over there, buddy. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village. Said to be said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of the Federal Lord Federal Lord? The feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one of a kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter, er, bitter, er, bitter grudge. Hmm. I cannot read tonight. What is wrong with me? One of a kind. It's that valuable. Yes. On top of that, since the book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I've already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay hands on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um. Kyo. What did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in the book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with a certain caged dog village. But it seems those were no mere rumors. I could feel power seeping from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. <laughs> Listen. By the way, Suichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? I would not like to do such a thing. Huh? The what now? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arcs unique to the village. Of all of them, the one I find most intriguing is a seance, seance called the Caged Child. Ugh, that's not good. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in a very seance, in this very seance. To discover it exists, exist, uh, to discover it exists, is surprising enough. But to actually have it before me. You see. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the, the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are the utmost important of anthrop anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Yes, but talking to the dead? Say... Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her one more time. No. 
No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I want to say is we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be blasphemy. Forgive me. I One must call myself. on them only at the appropriate time. Feel a shiver up my spine. Well, I mean, we have seen supernatural stuff in Danganronpa, especially in uh, Ultra Despair Girls. <laughs> there was a ghost. Isn't a. Oh, yeah. Isn't fucking. What's her name? Makoto's sister? I forgot her name already. Oh, shit. Isn't she able to see ghosts? <laughs> Well, that's anthropology. What else is in here? This is pretty fucked up. This is like a fucking Shimagami Tensei. Oh god. <laughs> it's like a Shimagami Tensei dungeon. What is this shit? Hanging scroll. What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. Probably leads to the fifth floor. Huh. Well, this looks like Angie's room. Door is the ultimate lab. From the looks of it, I say it's for art. I should investigate a little. Grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Hmm, it's locked. Yep, seems like it. Guess we can't go in. Kokichi, why are you up my ass? But <laughs> well, why would it be locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rare entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Uh, um... If both doors are locked, how are we gonna get inside? <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a little secret tech. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of the lock opening, and the door slowly opened. Hey, can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in there? Hey, hey. I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How pushy. Come in, come in, please come in. Every pl even polite. Ever polite. Angie invited us into the lab. Ever polite. She fucking asked me for a pint of my blood. Huh. This room has less color than I would imagine. Even the paint is... Paint doesn't seem to have any color whatsoever. Their various arts and carving tools make sense for the Ultimate Artist Lab. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says his classroom is probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? I'll answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. We said I was going to answer that question. Eh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse than Monotaro? <laughs> Promise, because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it! That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up, up my butt and then shove it in your mouth and rattle your moral. Oh, God. <laughs> That's unsanitary. Wait, Monodam, we're not fighting. We were just messing around, because you know we're friends. It's fine. It's fine, as long as you're getting along. So? So what's up with the key? Actually... Oh yes, Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe... I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the Great Atua. It's a cult. <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Wow, like a porn star. <laughs> he said, whoa, like a porn star. Eh? How is it the opposite? How? It's the opposite. So, 
any room where I'm going to make an art needs to have a key, but I'm surprised the Monocups knew that. Huh? And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Uh, what should I say? I'm a good improviser? Calm down. I'm even worse. We know everything about you, bastards. Because we want to be your friends. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Kokichi's a fucking. Sometimes Kokichi's a trip, man. Sometimes that guy just. It's weird. <laughs> I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friends with knockoff products. Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I, I won't forget anyone who refuses to get along with me. Now, now, Mono Dam, we haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. That's gonna be important later, isn't it? So then, let me see that key. Mono Dam swipes the key with, uh, swipe the key for Mono Feed, then lifts his mouth. Um, um. Oh, he makes a copy. Okay, cool. He's definitely making a copy of it. He ate it. He swallowed it. He's flatlining. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Oh, Mato Dam, you're so reckless. Let's carry Mono Dam away for now. We'll carry him like a kind of boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long. Isn't that usually the other way around? Isn't the employee the one that takes care of the boss? Oh. So does it mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh. But I'm gonna lock... But I only gonna lock the door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if we can't open or close the door from the outside. Ah. I guess that's fine then. By the way... By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So, does that mean the school is specially made for us? But... Monokuma has claimed that before. But, is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for 16 of us? Only Atua knows for it's sure. a miraculous mystery. Miraculous? Yeah, yeah miraculous. It's a mirac <laughs> miraculous mystery. The only Atua knows. But, it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? You guys are weird. I'm out of here. Oh, I don't want to investigate. What is there to investigate? There's fucking paint. There's one thing. There's a lump of wax. And that's it. Someone's going to get waxed to death. <laughs> What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that wax for making wax sculptures? Mm. Wax sculptures? Huh. You can make those, Angie? Yep, yep. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but it's who is the only one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. I see. But, but... But... But it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. Oh, welcome back, Mongo. In ancient times, death, death masks used to be made from wax. Wask? Why I say it like that? From wax. A wax death mask. It's probably made to suffocate them. <laughs> well, that's the only thing in here. Ah, oh, come on. What else is in here? Guess I gotta talk to Angie, right? Yeah. Ooh. I see, I see. There, there's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. Sculpting tools, chisels, and wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. These are all my favorite, so I can make do even if I don't even if I don't have access to deep sea. Uh, um... Now that you mention it, I don't see any completed pieces in here. I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. I, I don't need reference when Atua is the one who creates the art. So divine! Aw, she's so happy. <laughs> And crazy. She's crazy. 
she's a cultist. Anyways, <laughs> from now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Atua. Can I leave now? Damn it. Oh, oh look, Zuichi. The ceiling's pretty unique. Yeah, right. I noticed. Yes, an exposed beam. I wonder. Is it supposed to be like this, or did they just not finish it in time? Oh, Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like that time they mixed up the cup pads. Uh... I don't care. This place barely... This pl Can't fucking read. <laughs> I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Even Atua says it's more sensitive when the skin peeled back. Oh my god, what else do you want me to look in this room? There's a door. You want me to look at the doors? There's the front door, there's the back door. This door isn't the one we used to come in. The door's super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on it. If I remember correctly. Alright. The door that we used. Yeah. Yep. The door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no, it's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the gold ratio and such. And then? But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. So what, she does abstract art? Can't stay long. Gotta find the flashback light. you damn right I do. Get me the fuck out of here. The longer I stay over here with Angie, the longer I'm gonna be converted. Alright. Let's head to, uh... I know there's the, uh, dog statue outside. Well, I say dog statue. What is it, a kitsune? Oh. Let me check over here, too. I wanna know what's in here. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Candles just barely light a dim, dusty room. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. Seems like something that would appear in a cult manga. It's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is gonna pop out at you. I gotta investigate? Oh, come on. What's there to investigate? Just talk to them, right? There's the candles. The candles on the walls are the only light in this room. There's no windows here. It gets pitch black if candles goes what? out. Please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Well. Can't imagine many people do. Ah, damn it. Um. Even though I said all that, it seems like something's just gonna jump out after all. This place is like one of those old abandoned asylums filled with lunatics or criminals. To the point that I half expect to see a corpse bust through the wall. Sorry. Sorry. It's not something I should joke about. What are you thinking about, Gonta? You seem perplexed. Mm. Nothing here. What is room anyway? Yes, what is room? Investigate a little bit more. What the f Oh, the floor? Oh, it does have a weird lift to it. Floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh. Oh, the floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Really? Mm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cor on cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. What? But each floorboard is thick, and they got no gaps between them, so they look okay. Sure, it's not like a doorway. Don't not worried about falling through floor all of a sudden. What? But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. In the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be a good good to go over there. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything important here, just an empty room. Oh. Oh. It's not only empty room. You see three same looking doors and hall, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light too. Hmm. So, there are three of them. Anyways, we know we don't gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room You're like right. this. Unless we're gonna torture and kill someone. Um Then can we leave soon? The darkness in the shaky floors are making me nervous. 
It's only a matter of time before it's shutter before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown away. Well. But there's no windows here though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Get me the fuck out of here. What the hell is this? Hmm. Suspicious painting. Suspicious painting indeed. Oh. <laughs> I thought the fucking cursor like lit up on the wall. I was like, what the hell? Alright, well, let's get out of here. Alright. <laughs> I love how the icon changed. <laughs> it's the ultimate assassin's room. Oh, Maki. I knew there was something fucked up with you. That's why I like you. Ow. <laughs> Ran straight into the wall. <coughs> Let me take a sip of my fucking water. Oh god. I needed that. <laughs> Alright. Let's head out. I'm gonna head to uh, the outside. Because that's the only thing I can think of right now. Aw, RP Kurumi. Side again. <laughs> this way. I'm surprised that the casino hasn't come and played. I thought that would be like an area used that some of the guys would hang out at. And there are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Hmm. Huh, really? Wow, Suichi, you didn't have to go that far. <laughs> He's like, really? Oh, <laughs> I feel bad now. Huh. He just made Himiko angry. So I'm like, you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, no I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? But... Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. That's the only reason you don't do it? Aw, Himiko, you're precious. You're weird, but you're precious. Ninja scroll. There you go. That must be for Tenko. Hey Tenko, you got a dojo. Huh? A building? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! It's not just any building, it's a dojo. So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! Like I wouldn't care if the chef came by car or train, as long as they make good food. Is that really the same? Maybe. Alright, Tenko. Let's have ourselves a look-see, right? Must be the ultimate research lab, and from the looks of the building... I have a feeling Tenko wouldn't let me inside. It's the ultimate Aikido Master Lab, I'm sure of it. Well. Alright, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko, ladies first. What a pain. What a pain. <laughs> Pushing Himiko along, Tenko stepped into the building. That's true. I suppose I just checked check the inside too. Huh. I'm surprised she's not letting me... I'm surprised she's not pushing me away. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a fucking Mortal Kombat room. <laughs> wow, that's a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. <laughs> Listen, you shouldn't be smelling anything in front of Tenko. She'll lose her shit. 
All right, let's check the mat. The Tommy mats are new. They smell nice. Well, that's it. Giant wooden doll. It reminds me of uh, the giant wooden thing that Pac-Man uses in uh, what is it? Is it Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Tekken Cross Street Fighter? One of those. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. Wait, it's a doll, right? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? Hmm. What else do we have in here? There are scaffolds suspended. Scaff. Uh, there's a scaffold suspended in the air with change. Change? <laughs> with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. All right, Tenko. What do you think about this place? I think it's pretty neat. Damn it! See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why? Why are you so angry? Wow! I'm so happy. I just can't contain my emotions like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. I know the feeling. I know the feeling too much. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring in here will be incredible. But, but without a sparring partner. Oh come on! <laughs> what was that for? Ow! Are you throwing me? Listen up. Neo Aikido is super 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 serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Huh? You gonna start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding. Why'd you go straight into actual fighting? You don't have lots of confidence in yourself, do you, Suiji? I wonder why. Maybe it's because I keep getting beat up by you, and whenever I open my mouth, you fucking attack me. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you're still questioning yourself. Right! Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You might be right. Listen up! You know what works really good at lifting all the doubts? Neo Aikido! Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial arts, the treasures of pure heart above all else. Himiko! So how about you, Kimiko? Himiko? Mm -hmm. right. If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'll be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Oh, God! <laughs> I didn't expect her to go for Himiko. I see. It seems you're still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now, come sweat with me. And afterwards, we'll hit the showers together. My back. <laughs> I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're angry? I can see it in your heart. Uh, okay. Even I can see that. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> you psychopath, Tenko. I love you. What's over there? <laughs> Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. What? No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. She's trying to tinker with Kibo. So good. It won't make things worse. You'll probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fine. You gotta stop. You gotta stop, Mew. We can take this relationship to the next level, please. <laughs> but Mew, we shouldn't. Come with me. It'll be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. Pulling on Kibo's arm, you made her way to the Ultimate Inventor's uh, Lab. Um, what was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on, just in case. <laughs> you guys fucking in there? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Open up.
Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterward. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, um, thank you? Oh, yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Careful, be gentle. That tickles. Be gentle. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. We need to stop. We need to stop. I closed the door without saying a word. Ow, my face hurts. Smile won't go away. Ow. Oh, that fucking hurts. <laughs> what the hell? He's just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed. <laughs> Nothing but that. Uh... <laughs> I'm not jealous. You're jealous. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Oh, my face hurts. I couldn't stop smiling. I'm still smiling. All right. So we have a hammer left, right? I'm just going to run around to the back, see if there's anything out here. anything back here this leads to uh, the one area where we can escape if we please okay um hammer 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 where would I use this hammer at well let me just run over here real quick see if there's anything else I'll figure it out for my damn self. Uh, no. Okay. Let's run back inside. Probably around here somewhere. I'm trying to remember where uh, everywhere else leads. Um. I don't think there's anything downstairs for us. Yeah. We haven't really... We haven't really been down to the basement in a while, have we? It's kind of suspicious when you think about it. Was there anything ever over here? Let's see. Oh, we never opened this. It's locked. Suppose can't get in there. And then there's the gym, which doesn't lead to anywhere, I believe. Hmm. I know I can just look at the map. If I get stuck, I can just look at the map and see where where the game wants me to go, but I kind of want to figure it out for myself. You know? Hmm. Let's 
head upstairs. Second hallway. Might be something up here. Doesn't seem like it. came from here. Alright, well, let's not waste any more time. Where do you want me to go, game? Kaido's still hanging out in the fucking assassin's lab. Oh. Hmm. Really? Back upstairs. doing here? Monokuma stared at me in silence, then disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um, I suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? Who knows, maybe Monokuma is going against the uprising, but since he can't say a word, he'll just show me instead. This room? Investigate what's at the end of the hallway. What? That's what I... Okay. D look at Monokuma, please. Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me and the picture on the wall. Uh, um... In this picture? Huh? I see. It's not a canvas. It's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps... Maybe I should use the item I haven't used yet on All this. Right. All right, it's worth a try. I knew that painting was fucked up. <laughs> I looked at it and I said, huh, that's a weird painting. And I threw it as hard as I could. I knew it. Just as I thought, there's a hidden passageway here. I don't know what he's up to, but this did really help us out. The passageway looked different than the haunted house, more like a factory. This is eerie in a different way. Yeah, I have a feeling that something definitely happened. Mono Cubs are running the show now, and I'm assuming that Monokuma must be... I, I'm assuming it's like a Saw situation, right? Where Monokuma is the original, and then the Cubs are the apprentice, but now the Cubs are like, fuck it, I'm in charge. This is probably Kibo's room. It's a giant machine. I never th thought I'd see this before. What could it be? It looks like a fucked up Xbox. <laughs> If you come this far, that means you solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Suichi. The puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. That's true. <laughs> it's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest ones when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But... Hey, here's, let me tell you, let me tell you how the serious ones works, guys. The reason why the serious ones are the scariest ones when they snap is because the whole entire time while they're being serious, they're thinking how easy it would be to kill you all. <laughs> Trust me, I would know. I live, I live with morons. And I'm like, it'd be easy. It'd be so easy. It'd be so easy. Just really easy. But did that out-of-date piece of junk help you out? No. Oh yes, we should explain this room. So, this is the computer room. Computer room. Ah. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. 
it's a computer you're looking uh, this computer you're looking at it's like super amazing if I remember correctly it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world see this is why this is why this is why when Monokuma's like I'm the he's like he's like I'm Monokuma's like I'm the one who's in charge of this world. I'm like, what do you mean by this world? I can't tell. See, I still can't tell if this is like a Dengarapa 2 situation. I'm assuming that it's not, because I don't think they would want to use the same plot point twice, but at the same time, earlier, they were able to erase their own memories. A new world. Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait. Were we supposed to tell them that? I've already forgotten the plan. Huh. You totally said way too much. Sorry. Uh, I knew it. Hmm. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can, what you can and can't say. Ooh. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monofi? Huh? Because... When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? Okay. So why didn't you? I cannot forgive You're friends, right? So why didn't you help him? Oh well, if you can't get along, you'll be punished. You too, Monotaro. Friends share everything, even punishments. Yeah. What? Backfire? So long, farewell. This machine can make a new world. What are you talking about? I'm not. I'm not good with computers. I don't think I understand. It's no matter how much I investigate. I'm starting to have kind of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I'm having, I'm having a bit of a theory going on in the back of my head right now. I don't want to say what it is, but, but, well, de depending on how things play out, let's just pin that right here. I'm going to call back to it later. I'll call back to it later. Would make sense. Oh. Ugh. Yawning again. All right, a treasure chest. I opened the chest eagerly, and I found one flashback light. With this, I can find out what this place is, why we're here. But before that, hey, Kokuchi. <laughs> oh, you found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable, despite the lame face of yours. Yes, I respect that. Okay. Uh huh. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Suichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away and couldn't get a word in Ed. I couldn't get a. Ed uh. He chatted away and I couldn't get a word in Edgewise. He left, waving goodbye. But before that, before that, what? I'm gonna look at this computer. This giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave for leave for now. You would you would you would uh you would expect the detective to know a little bit about computers, right? Just a little bit. You don't gotta know about computer parts, but just a little bit of like maybe an operating system or something. At least know how to, like, go through files. Alright. Make our way to the fucking dining hall. Because I'm hungry. Both in the game and real life. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Ryoma. You fucking... You... You really, really sad man. <laughs> Man, he had no one. Aww. He's like, sorry, I mean, you have no one. He's like, I got nobody? Fuck. Yeah, that's right. That's right, I'm not even gonna turn. I'm just strafing all over the place. <laughs> Alright. Dining hall, this way. And turn around. About face. Ooh. 
Really? Suichi, is it true you found another flashback light? Okay. Yep, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying? I'm stunned, startled, shocked, Thank flabbergasted. Goodness. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually, I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Ah. Maki's not here either. Ah. Uh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey, hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, Mew, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Did you take a look at it? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm not very computer savvy. Why are you so fucking useless? <laughs> what? Oh, is that true? That's unexpected. I have been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well, well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh, yes. I'm pretty good at one-man comedy show, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. Keyboy existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me! I just told you I'm... <laughs> he is the ultimate robot, or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows. Hmm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out the computer room, right? <laughs> but I'm not gonna... J I'm not j uh, I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's got to take way more than that. Uh, um, well, the monocups didn't say it was amazing. Yo! Hey, thanks for waiting. You got Maki, right? Yeah! Oh. Kaido and... Maki. Maki, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Listen. Me, Kaido, and Maki, we're a trio. We're all good, right? What's up? Give me five, Maki. Give me fucking fist it. Pound it. Huh? Maki? Why is Maki with you? She's cool. Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? <laughs> but when you say everyone, did you truly need to include a professional killer? Eh, don't think about that. She's cool, man. <sighs> I'm leaving. No, come back, Maki. Don't do that. Don't come do that. On, Hold on a second. I had to grab Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way. Kaido. Didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Oh, she's so capable of doing it. <laughs> no one needs to say anything. It's like, listen, she's capable of doing it. But she does it. I'm assuming she does it uh in the most humane way humane way possible. She doesn't make them suffer. She seems like someone who wouldn't make people suffer. Right? Um... Um, it's true. Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? She doesn't have to answer your questions. Fuck you guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yes, I have murdered. Really? What? Why would you hide that? Isn't it obvious? It's so that she could kill us all before we figure her... We could figure out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. Because I know you guys would react this way. Maki's cool, guys. Leave Maki alone. Huh? What? Because. When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, the fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid. I'll kill them first. That's... Okay, I have a question. I have a question. Because it seems the way that whatever organization, right? It used to be Hot's Peak, but I don't even know what the fuck it is anymore. Whatever organization would find out uh, who has whatever ultimate ability, sometimes the people wouldn't even believe that to be true. So I'm assuming Maki may have, may have the ability to be the ultimate uh, assassin, but... She's never really been hired to kill. It's more just like she has the skill set to do so, and the only time she's killed is in defense. I feel like that might be the case. What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. Happens every time. Always. Huh? Always. Mm. Mm, you lived a pretty sad life, Maki. 
That's so mean. Poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now, is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she's trying to... Uh, wow. Well, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to... Hey, can you let go of me now? Oh. Kaito finally let go of her arm, and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and tried to avoid you guys as much as possible. Oh, but, someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intentions of killing any of you, unless one of you try to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyways. Then... So you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Oh, come on, Maki. Maki, we can be friends. You're cool. I like you. Please just pretend I'm not even here. Oh, that's not gonna happen. You're already one of the three stooges. You can't deny it, Maki. Started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaido. What are you thinking? Why are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. No, I wouldn't say that. Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes. So we... <clears throat> yes. So have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course. Might be able to remember something new. Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. <laughs> of course it's got something to do with it. Hey. hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah, going to worried, but we gotta do it. But, but... But no matter what, you, what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you think like that, uh -oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! I know that. We can't go on. We can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do it. And let's try it. Suichi, go for it. Uh... I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nervous. Hmm. Everyone turned their eyes to me, and I flicked the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, the world warped. Now, why is Suichi so thick? <laughs> My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. What? The world thinks we're dead. What was that? A funeral? Wait. What the hell was that, and how come it wasn't my memory? It was mine? Was, every, was everyone there? Huh? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Suichi? I see. It would appear we all remembered the same thing. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Could've said it better myself, Mew. Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And... Why was I there, too? W why? What the hell's going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way! Maybe we already dead. Maybe we already dead? <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Jesus, so stupid. I can't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that our memory of our... F no way that that's a memory of our funeral. Then... No, well, what is... I mean... What is it? It was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did in the school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious? You can think about it. Of course! If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. That's true. Um... But aren't we all from different high schools? 
Why would it have a school festival together? Uh, well, remember something else about it early, about it later. Anyways, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistake in that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that clears uh, clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Come to think, everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive. Hale and Hardy. <laughs> Hardy? Because you get a hard on every time you see me? I won't deny that. Oh, yeah! Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? I won't dis I will not disclose that information. What? Hey, stay in your lane, bitch. <laughs> what? Oh. It's not good with other people. <laughs> I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. I'm oh man, what a disappointment. Huh? Disappointment? Mm -hmm. It's true, the flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously, talk about a disappointment. Uh -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory, I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. Oh no, it's nothing, I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't warp my head around it. Warp? Wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. And now we have free time. I feel like there's some kind of secret about the funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help. Hmm. I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out, clear my head. Alright, we got free time. We also just went through a lot make sure we uh save the game <clears throat> make sure I drink more water god all right uh first things first before free time let's head on over to the where the fuck? Over here. Uh, where's the store? Got a bunch of mono coins. I wanna get some presents. I also wanna check uh, the report card. Let's see. All right. Ultimate assassin. Likes lake, morning lake shores, winter lake shores. Huh. So she still, uh, she still has the same likes and dislikes. I'm hanging out with Maki, you can't stop me. No one can stop me. I'm hanging out with Maki. Pure white practice sword. Feelings of ham. <laughs> what? Bubble gum. Bubble bomb gum. Lucky chance. Fun book of animals. Flower of floromacy. <laughs> Candy cigarette. Tattered music score. Hand grips. Hand mirror. Sparkly sheet. Working chair of doom. Nail brush. Photoshop software. Maple fudge. Latest machine catalog. 
I just want to see how much I would need to bring the percentage down to get a new item. 56? Why not? Rock hard ice cream. What the fuck? The latest machine part. Oh, what the hell just happened? Did it jam? What was that about? Upbeat humidifier. Bear ears. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna put the rating back down because I just want new items at this point. Dark belt. Wearable blanket. Wearable blanket. <laughs> it's a jacket. Earnest compass. Ooh, two lucky chances. Dark belt again. Splaw team vogue. Okay. Monkey's paw. Alright. One more. Need as many presents as we can get. Sugar. We got sugar. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it for the Monokuma machine. I want to hang out with Maki. I'm assuming Maki wouldn't want to hang out with me, but, you know. He can't stop me from trying, damn it. Alright, Maki. Where would you be? I assume she would be in her dorm, right? Maki, come on out. Maki, come on out and hang out with me. Let's be friends. I want to be friends with Maki. What was she like? Huh. Said that she doesn't like winter, so maybe she would like the wearable blanket. Cold, closing in grabs around your neck, hands, feet. Moving around is near impossible. Moving around is near impossible. Maybe she wouldn't like that. I'm a picture book artist. Device for training, strength of punches, determine grip strength, weight, and speed combination. Well, that's definitely for Tenko. Uh, let's see. Shamazin doll. Hmm. Monokuma ears. When worn, Picks up your brain waves and ear wiggles according to your motion. Oh, that's for that's for Simugi, or cosplay shit. Uh, contains divine power capable of taking away people with a single slash. You can give it away, but something might happen if. <laughs> or something good might happen if you keep it. Okay. Huh. And then there's just these items here. All right. Um. Ice cream. <laughs> Rock hard ice cream. That's sad. Bell makes explosive sound when fully blown, popped. Weak hearted people should not chew this. I feel like Kokichi would definitely love this just to be an asshole. Bunny slippers. Alright, well. Maki! Hang out with me. We're friends. I want to be your friend. You're part of the Three Stooges. You can't. You can't not be part of the Three Stooges. Also, you can't, you owe me. You owe me a little bit of your time, Maki. Just a little bit. I saved your ass at that trial. I lied for you. Open your door. Maki's probably in her room. Can't just ignore what she said. She sounded really upset. Maki! What is it? Hang out with me. Hey, hey if it's alright with you, you want to talk? Stay away from me. I don't care. 
Just staying away from you and the others, so just pretend I'm not even here. No! No! Come back! <laughs> just slant the door. I'll try one more time. What is it? Come on, change hey. your mind, monkey. Stay away from me. Damn it. I just want to be your friend. <laughs> I just like you so much, okay? Oh. Maki doesn't want to be my friend. Now I gotta hang out with the rest of these losers. Uh, have I not hung out with Kaito yet? I haven't. I should hang out with Kaito. Definitely not hanging out with Kokichi. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I did say I wanted to hang out with Himiko. I hung out with Tenko. She punched me in the face multiple times. I hung out with Angie and she wanted me to, she wanted a pint of my blood. We'll hang out with Himiko. Right? We'll hang out with Himiko and Kaito. I think that'll be fine. <laughs> Back again, called your mom your best friend. Oh. Hope you had a wonderful chat. Hope everything's going good with that. Where the fuck? Oh, I forgot. I can just teleport to them. Where is, uh... Where's Himika? Oh, she's over here. What the hell is she doing in the library? Himika, what the fuck are you doing in the library? This is the last place I would expect to see you. Huh? It's back to normal. Did Monokuma clean everything up? Gonna spend time with Himiko? Yeah, I'm gonna spend time with Himiko. I want to spend time with Maki, but she doesn't want to be my friend. Let's hang out, Himiko, you fucking weirdo. Before before we get too far in, let me just check her report card. What do you like? Small spaces. And you don't like the ocean. Okay, cool. Uh, everything's a pain. Leave me alone. I spent some time encouraging Himiko, who seemed even lazier than usual. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Isn't that the face of friendship? Would you like to give her a present? Sure! Let's see. What would you like? Uh, would you like bunny slippers? Bunny apple? My bad. I, I thought it was bunny slippers for a moment. Don't I have like animal slippers in here or some shit? Could have sworn I had something like that. She would definitely like a monkey's paw, right? Maybe. Monkey's paws are pretty fucked up though. Let me see. Let me see if there's something else here. Something. That's closer related to magic. Right? Oh, wait, here we go. Flame Thunder. Broom that lets mages fly. You would love this. Here you go. I got two of them. Oh, oh this is it. The item I needed. Yeah. Not bad. Please bring me more stuff to increase my magic stat. Mm -hmm. Hey. Himiko? Mm -hmm. Um. Himiko? What? What? She looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go away. What the fuck is with everybody and not wanting to hang out with me? Uh, um, you don't want to talk to me. You could have you could have turned me down. What a Too lazy to say no. Hmm. You know what? I believe you. I never met someone so thoroughly lazy. But that is strange. Um, hey Himiko, why did you decide to be a magician? Okay. I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. And I use real magic. Don't get it wrong. She said, don't get that shit twisted. <laughs> it's magic. It's real magic, okay? You get it? Then show me some real magic. Sure, real magic. Uh, okay. I feel like this conversation will go nowhere if I disagree. It's magic. No, it's magic. How many times do I have to tell? What was huh? that? Huh? What? <laughs> it's magic. Okay. Yes, that's right. I just said it was magic. 
Yeah, you're right. It's magic. It's magic. She looks really happy. Hmm. Anyways, what are we talking about? Why am I a mage? Why are you asking me about that? That's... Well, because... Isn't it strange that such a lazy girl would go through so much work for a ma magic trick? Remember. It seems like magic requires a ton of work to prepare, so... Jeez. A typical amateur question. You don't need... You don't need annoying preparations for magic. <laughs> I see. I'm, a mage. I'm talented. Not relying on my talent would go against my master's teachings. Hmm. Master? You have a master, Himiko? Yeah. Did you? Did I not tell you? Okay. This is the first time I'm hearing of it. So there's an apprentice magicians. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. My master was an amazing archmage. Wait. Hey, wait. You called me a magician again. I'm a mage. You're adorable, Himika. I had spent some time calling me Himiko down, who had become quite pouty. I wonder what kind of person Himiko's master is. The master of masters. I just want to hang out with Maki, and Maki doesn't want to hang out with me. She don't want to be my friend. What the fuck? <laughs> he beat their ass. His official announcement. It is now 10 PM. It's Betty by time for us. You should go to sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? As close as what? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Huh? But whoever's whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. Bunk beds always scared me. <laughs> I used to have a bunk bed. They scared the hell out of me. The top one was too high, and being on the bottom was like, what if it just fell? What if it just fell and killed me? That timer sign. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're gonna do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. I was gonna hang out with Kaito anyways. Hey Kaito, you out here? Looks like Kaito isn't here. Then suddenly... Oh, there you are. Yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her? Yeah, it's Maki! We're the Three Stooges. Huh? Maki. Why is Maki here? Like I'd know. That's what I like to know. Okay, okay, hold up, Maki. So you hang out with him, but not me? What the fuck? <laughs> Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got so fed up I finally opened the door. And this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? The three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. It's stupid. You're stupid. Everything's stupid. I'm going back. Huh. Uh, you calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train. Train, then train some more. And that's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Alright! So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse. By my side to help me be that hero. Uh, um, of all the examples you could have picked. All right already. Did you really think that crazy explanation would have convinced me to stay? Yeah. That's kind of stupid, Kaido. This is stupid. Still stupid. <laughs> I'm going back. Hold up. Ah, uh, hold up a second. When I said I was a hero, that's just from a perspective. But you know. Uh. Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. Just look at Crypto. Had one of the best fucking TV shows ever. <laughs> Same goes to the both of you. Each of... <laughs> I fucking love Crypto the Super Dog. Fucking Ace the Bat Hound. He's amazing. I don't even know who the fuck that cat belonged to. I always thought it was like maybe Wonder Woman or some shit. Each of you are the heroes in your own stories. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told the both of you to stay away from me. Hang out with me, Maki. I want to be your friend. You know, this will end badly if you don't. 
So why are you being so difficult? Why are you being difficult? The fuck? Hey, so how long are you gonna run away? Huh? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So you guys make your so you guys mind your business. On my mind, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. I mean You're not that terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so Hey, what's your enemy? What? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you gonna run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Come yeah, on. you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you, so you can be strong. What? Maki? Hi, Maki. Hi, Maki. Hi. Hello, Maki. Maki's well, getting angry. Kato just provoked her. Nah, this is her serious face. This is her game face. High five, Maki. It's gonna be okay. He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So, what are you gonna do? Kaito! Hey, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? Huh? You'll do it? Then. Don't get the wrong idea. It's not like I like you guys or anything. <laughs> You'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Huh. Ah, so you do get it. The only way to deal with idiots like him is to give, is to give up and just keep nodding. I know the feeling. I know the feeling, Maki. What? You don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we doing first? Alright, all right, first, a hundred push-ups. Somehow Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. Not bad! Shuichi, you're getting better! Hey Kaido, no slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing 100! Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... 91, 92, 93, 94... Damn. What? That fast? Don't go too fast, Maki. You gotta get that full range of motion. Satisfied? A hundred. I'm done. Well, then do your fucking... Do your fucking walking lunges. <laughs> Maki. <laughs> just fucking go super hard on her. Just, like, start doing some walking lunges then, since you're going so fucking fast. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you trained before, huh? Aren't you breathing a little too hard? I'm like, we really pushing ourselves. Well, that's... Before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Oh, you lying piece of shit. Kaido, that was the best lie you could come up with? Hey. Anyways, I'm done. And you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay. We're done... Tra we're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. Maki ignored Kaido and left without a word. Jeez, Jeez why she gotta be so difficult? Um, hey Kaido, why'd you do all this? To help her? Hmm? hmm? Someone's weak, you gotta help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um, weak and suffering? <laughs> Maki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Nah, nah your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! Nothing. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Huh? Aren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaido. Kaido ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Dig that hole deeper, Kaido. He's like, I forgot how many I did, so start from the beginning.
I was so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Hmm. Kaido bringing Maki? He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaido, you really are something else. My eyelids close and I continue talking to myself, and eventually, I drifted to sleep. The Monodam Theater? <laughs> okay. Is he doing the Ma- Oh god, the Matrix. Curious? Curious what we Monocubs do when you're not around? No, not really. I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. You want to talk about laughing at funny sounding words? What's that, uh, what's that one K-pop fucking song where the dude just says the N-word over and over? <laughs> when we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air-conditioned room. That's hitting a little too close home. That's what I'm doing right now. And when we all go out together, usually make me steal. That's bad. See, we're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. Understandable. This is an emergency announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Let's get along. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> oh, Mato Dam. You're really obsessed with the whole getting along thing. That's right. Friends is the only show he watches now. Friends is the only show he watches now. Wow. Did not expect to see that one. I will not forgive if you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the exocells to peel your faces off like, like mandarin oranges. How gory! So gory. Please get along, everyone. <laughs> ah. She puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Monofi's puke will have good luck. So long. Farewell. A symbol in the gym? I have a bad feeling about this. All right, well, uh, can I just travel there? Do I gotta walk? I don't wanna walk. Walking's, walking's for the, walking's for the weak-minded. <laughs> I'm superior because I can teleport. Oh, come on, Maki. Why are you standing all the fuck the way over there? Come over here. Where's Gonta? It was the same when... It was the same way when we went to the library after Rentaro's class trial. All clean. Like nothing ever happened. Man, I'm tired as fuck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Oh, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What do you think? Uh. Yeah, I only started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but... Uh. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. <laughs> Are you jealous? Please stop! Of course not! I would never be jealous of a computer. But... A robot jealous of a computer? Seems just plain possible. Oh? Hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something... Or something. Is she? What is she doing here? I mean, what's she doing here? They told everyone to come here. Oh, Maki's my friend. Fuck you guys. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You never get to know her better if you ever talk to her. But maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that dangerous killer stays away from us. Of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's enough! Better cut it out. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Mm. It's just like Angie said. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Oh god, you're part of the cult too. Huh? Everyone! Everyone, it's serious. Is someone else missing? How? Is Tenko in the room? Oh no, the colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No. No, not that. Gonzo went to courtyard before coming here and. Oh, Tenko is here. There she is. Thanks for bearing with us. I'm just trying to find out if everyone's in the gym right now. Because <laughs> people are dead. Come on, what is this? We call us out of here all of a sudden. We're the ones who called them out. Didn't you forget that? Let's worry about Monotaro later. Present. Whoa. Let's worry about Monotaro later. And present the motive now. I knew it. So it's a motive after all. It doesn't matter what the motive is. I'm not do the killing game anymore. That's right. That's right. We're not afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. Oh, fuck. There's four of you now. What? But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear never before. Fear like never before? If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Like Pokemon. Pokemon Unite. On your Switch now. Play for free. Pay to win. <laughs> Dunk on some fucking two-year-olds. <laughs> now, for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. Transfer student. What? Yep, a new student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. Bullshit. And welcome them back to the academy as a transfer student. Well. What? A transfer student. Are you serious? We can resurrect someone? So. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. I call bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. That's right! But only one of the four who have died... Wait, what? Only one of the four who have died so far can come back as transfer student. Whoever you choose, the person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This mode is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Sorry, old habits and such. Hey. Monodam, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know? Monofi, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friendship also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have to punish Manatara. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> Please no. No. Wait. What? What's? Wait. What? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I always mock her when she's looking. I don't want to be punished by her. I'll do it. Oh wait. What? Wait. Hold up. Oh, that's why I'll have you punish Marantar. Oh. Fine, I'll do it. So long. Farewell. Wait, what? Okay. So what's the thing about the Necronomicon? Do we have to kill in order to resurrect? We're all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing thus far. Incomprehensible. Transfer student? Resurrecting the dead? Don't screw around! Don't say such stupid things. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. Just can't happen. Sheesh, who the fuck would believe a load of unscientific bullshit? <laughs> we're talking about... We're in a room with, like, four cultists. Listen... Disbelief due to the lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. The ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony stems from the fu funeral ceremonies 
the other the world over what the fuck i'm sorry what <laughs> had like a stroke see they're similar yes the act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual through rumors and legends the ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world a ritual so since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kyo? What are you saying? There's no way the dead can be resurrected, you fucking moron. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe that the souls can be resurrected. I think what he's getting at is that he can he believes they can be reincarnated but not resurrected because this body would be too broken, right? Uh... What kind of Kingdom Hearts bullshit are we talking about? <laughs> that seems confusing, but I know if we ask this conversation we'll just go on forever. Okay. If not even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. What if we took the consciousness of someone and put their brain into a, uh, into a, uh, what you call it? Either into, like, a robot or, like, a cadaver or something. I don't know. Fuck. Wasn't there, you know what? There was a recent study that happened, like, not too long ago. I think it might have been, like, two years ago or something. Where, like, there was the first ever successful brain transplant. Where they trans, where they, uh, they experimented on a pig, I think? And even though it wasn't, even though it wasn't, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Even though it wasn't, um, sentient, the, uh, the recipient, I believe is the word, <laughs> of the brain fucking still had brain activity going. So brain activity was happening, it just wasn't sentient brain activity. Right? Who knows, maybe they were just trapped in their own hell. And if this idealistic gen uh, degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. You think? You think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> that kooky bitch is finally taking, <laughs> finally talking. But too bad. No one's interested in your bullshit cult. No. No, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie's free to speak. Yay! Now there's five of them. Because that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. <sighs> Alright. Fucking. Here's the whole occultist group over here. Right? Here's the fucking realist. And here's the loner. How you feeling, Maki? What's going on? What's going through your mind right now? This Talk to me. Stupid. Resurrection ritual sounds stupid. I got dragged here for this. I should have ignored you guys after all. You're cool, Maki. I like you. You're my favorite now. Sorry, Mew. Maki's my favorite now. And if she dies, I will be very disappointed. Uh, um... So you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh... I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because... You know how the body of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like they were never a dead body to begin with. So maybe the truth is, they were never dead to begin with. Where the fuck are you going with this? They weren't dead. No. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but. But it might have been a very accurate an imitation. N no. An imitation. Bullshit. I see. Monokuma and the exocells are evidence of ridiculous scientific, scientific advancements. So, it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. Is that what Angie says? That I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. I've always supported Angie. Yeah. yeah, thank you everyone. Wait! Wait. No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate male! Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. What's going on here? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Suichi. You don't want the dead to be alive. That's true, but... I do. I do want that. Wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that is. 
But no matter how much we want that. But. Oh, wait. If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in the school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. Are you talking about the message on the rock? The message in the courtyard. Graffiti in the courtyard, yeah. Uh, um, Donta, you know the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On way here, Gonta see writing in courtyard. Hey. There's more of it. It's more writing huh? this time. More writing. Um, Gonta no could understand what writing mean, but maybe. Right. Maybe it's a message from dead. It's not enough letters for me to decipher what the hell's going on here. Could that word be insane? No. Hmm. Maybe everyone leave message for us to say, hey, we alive. Huh? A message from everyone who died. Because no one here write it. Did they? So someone must have write it, right? Rest in peace. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead? No. Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon off the floor. Say. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore, rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this time. Uh-oh. Hmm. It would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a survivor to... Wait, what? You're a savior to these four people. Huh? Huh? As you approach Gonta with her usual wide smile and... Oh no. No, this is how a cult starts. You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this because Atua is always watching you. Always watching Gonta? Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother. Watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. Grandmas are nice. Huh? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. This is how a cult starts. Whoa! Well, it's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh! Oh yeah, why don't you join our student council, Gunta? You're yeah, be really reassuring if you were part of the student council. Mm. Mm, use your power for peace for the academy. <laughs> See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. Do really? you need Gonta? Got it. Okay, Gonta joins student council too. Wait! And now there's six. Now there are six of them. Is that, is that why you're. That's why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can, uh, how we can eradicate, eh, eh, I can't read, how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Sumugi. Yes! And we arrived to the conclusion. This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. This is a fucking cult. Huh? <laughs> you with. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, it's fucking cultist. All right, me with glasses again. You damn right. I look fucking sexy with glasses. <laughs> I 
I'm wearing glasses right now. Ow, fuck. My headphones have been on for so long, it's starting to, like, cause pressure. I've been wearing headphones all day. Student Council, and Angie is the president. Yes. Yes. There can be no harmony between us if we can't... We keep saying different things. Oh, shut up. Hi. What? Yep, yep. Well, it's called the Student Council, but all the decision-making is done by Attila. It's fucking cold. <laughs> but since Angie can speak with Attila, she's the only one... <laughs> Damn it! Right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Hey, I'm gonna follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Atua's happy too. Oh, no. Jeez, they've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before even realized. However, but it makes sense if you think about it. The place has all the conditions for a cult to form. Thank you, thank you. Someone said it. Fuck, it's a cult. The fear of death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from desire to escape that. I see. <laughs> Cults. <laughs> the fear of death that can't be avoided. Cults are, are born from that fear. Now please, drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> drink the cyanide. So she used the situation to take over the school and make us dependent from Atua. Please, wait! Make us dependent on Atua. Using is a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for the school, and we all agreed with her noble wisdom. Right. Yeah, go to not let anyone talk bad about the now they got now the cult has got muscle. Why you? You literally just fucking joined them. You brainwashed idiot. But... You fucking moron. <laughs> but I'm surprised. Tinko decided to join the student council. Huh? Huh? Wh why? That's correct. Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. So? She's doing it for sex. <laughs> She's doing it for... <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, what are we talking about again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the resurrection ritual. Right. Just... Oh, <laughs> do I wear glasses? Yes, I do. <laughs> I've been said I wear glasses. I always wear glasses. Fucking, I remember, um, I remember, I remember back in middle school or whatever, for the longest time, I would tell my doctor, I'm like, yeah, I think I need glasses. I'm having a real fucking hard time seeing the goddamn board from all the way in the back of the class. And the doctor's just like, nah, man, you're fine. You're just, you just, you just want to complicate things for no reason. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, I'm telling you, my eyesight is shit. <laughs> my eyesight's not that bad. It could be worse. I know my left eye is worse than my right eye, though. Not by... not by that much. Just leave it to the student council. So let's burn some if Atua makes the decision. Wait! Let's burn him some. <sighs> That's a relief. If it's Atua's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah. Yep, there's no way Atua would be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yep, Atua's always right. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. It'll be fine, as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> Tenko's an evolution of Bulbasaur. <laughs> How so? I doubt they listen to anything we have to say. It's true, they're probably not gonna... You know what? I can't believe I would agree with Kyo, but I agree with Kyo, you fucking cultist. <laughs> to that, they're probably not gonna listen. But you could at least help too, Kyo, uh, Kaito. Kaito? What's wrong with him? He's been quiet for the whole time. You better not be thinking of bringing back Kaede, you son of a bitch. What's your deal, Kaido? In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at that and went our separate ways. Transfer student, reviving the dead, to a student council? So many heavy con conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit around and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Yeah. I keep pressing the start button. Start button's not the pause menu. Alright. Let's see. 
maybe, just maybe, hear me out here, just maybe, because we all had a fun time working out together. Wait, what? Don't have any business here right now. Where the fuck is Maki? She's in her kill room. Maki! I wanted to hang out with Kaito. I really wanted to hang out with Kaito, that's for sure. But Maki! Listen, are we friends now? Maki, let me in. Let me in, Maki. Spend time with Angie? Fuck Angie! I spent time with her, she asked for my blood. She's weird. Maki! Huh? What? No. I don't have anything to say, I just thought we could hang out. Say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. I guess that's a no. I thought the training with me and Kaito would bring us closer. Okay. Yeah! Huh? Oh, happy days indeed. What are you trying to pull? What's with your reaction? You're the one who invited me. Sorry. Sorry, I was just surprised. I honestly thought you rejected me, like you did last time. You don't In the know? time before that. In the time before that. <laughs> All this time I assumed I was just gonna train with two idiots, you and Kaido. And I thought it'd be faster to give you know, Kaido's demands. Not sure how to feel about that. What do you mean? Even after hearing that, do you still want to hang out with me? Fuck yeah I do! You're cool! Sure, whatever. Fine, I'll hang around with you. But I think you'll end up wasting your time on me. I don't give a damn. I spent some time with Maki. Talking about nothing. Just shooting the shit. Maki and I grew a little closer today. High five, Maki. Alright. So, she doesn't like winter. So I'm assuming giving her maybe a... Maybe a sweater. <laughs> Stay warm, even on the coldest of winters. There you go. Did you think this would make me happy? Maybe. For a detective, you're not that intuitive, are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I got nowhere with that. Oh well. There's still time. I will hang out with her more later. Let's go check on Kaito. Oh, Kaito's at the dorms. Kaido! Ah. Oh, it's you, Suichi. Sorry, it's just... pretty busy right now. Can you come by later? Sorry, man. See you later. Now you don't want to hang out with me. <laughs> Damn it! Huh. Okay. I didn't expect that. Hmm. Let's see. I did hang out with Kibo before. We also have Kyo. I'm so not hanging out with Kokichi. I fucking just hate that bastard. Spend time with Tenko? She whipped my ass last time. Fucking beat me up. <laughs> next time, next time I'll definitely hang out with Kyo if he's still alive. <laughs> Let's hope he's still alive. But uh, yeah, I can hang out with Tinka. Why not? Beat the shit out of me though. I still haven't hung out with Samugi. I think. Did I hang out with Samugi? I don't know. I don't care. Samugi's boring. <laughs> Movie's boring. She's cute, but she's boring. Where the fuck? No, that's Maki. I'm trying to fight off every urge in the world to hang out with Mike with the uh, Maki right now. Oh, there's Tenko. With Samugi? <sighs> Samugi's kind of boring, though. I feel like all Samugi's gonna do is just yell references at me. 
and half of them I'm not going to understand. What are you doing, Tinko? Um. If the writing in the courtyard's a message from the people who died, then why didn't they write a more obvious message like help or something? And you know what? You're right about that. No, I'm not doubting Angie's words or anything, okay? Whoever wrote the useless message must have been a degenerate male. I'll go fuck yourself. It's definitely Rantaro or Ryoma. I spent some time with the panicky Tenko. Tenko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. Alright, Tenko, what do we got? Let's see. Do I have, like, some sort of martial arts book or something like that? I gave her this last time. She seemed to really like it. Very gold seeds. Swords. She doesn't use weapons. Worn with karate clothes can only be worn by those justice in their hearts can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. I'll keep it, man. Something good might happen. <laughs> I'm assuming it brings my luck up for the roulette thing. I call it roulette, but it's not roulette. What the hell? The fucking, um... Give the sword? What the hell does she have a use for sword? Fucking, she doesn't need a sword. Her Neo Aikido uses no weapons. At least from my, from what I figured. I'll give her a... I could just give her a punching bag again, right? Sewing kit. Picture book. Oh no, hand grips. She would definitely love this, right? Oh, come on. It's a perfect training item. I can have this? Thank you! Proper girls show gratitude, even if male degenerates do wrong. Uh, do wrong, the gifts do not. You just tucked my gift and ran with it. Cuz, cuz she wants to kill all men. She doesn't want to kill them all, she's just wary of them. She's super lesbian. Oh, Montaro's out cold for being punched by Monodam as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. While Monodam and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. The announcement didn't mention it, but I suppose it's night time. Time to train, but is Kaito okay? Get the fuck off my doorbell! And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. It's probably, uh, what's-his-face. I don't think it's Kaito. He wouldn't ring that much. The doorbell's still ringing. I made a way to the door and opened it to find Kokichi. What? Why'd you ring my doorbell so many times? Huh? Maki. <sighs> Kaito's resting. He said he's not feeling well. Now we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. Just the two of us. Living in castles way up high. Just the two of us. Jeez. The fuck? <laughs> I turned... My fucking, uh... <laughs> my phone went off and it scared me. Let's see. He just likes men's, did you see? What do you mean? I mean. You know Tenko's a girl, right? <laughs> it's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to strain with you guys, then flake out. But. Oh well, he did say he won't waste if uh, he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making excuses for him? You're right. No, I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just get it over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. Oh no, you came here because you like me, Maki. It's cool. We're, we're buddies. So, really gonna do this? Change just the two of us? Barbies? <laughs> That's how Maki and I ended up training together. What 
is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. You are right about that, Maki. Maki sprang up and said... Hey. 100, I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 is nothing. Okay. Huh? All right. All right. Did I did I guess this accurately? <laughs> she has the abilities of the assassin, but she doesn't like to use them and only uses when necessary. <sighs> About Kaido, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught I only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so that it could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way, it just happened to me. After what I've been through, I'm still even human. Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because... But I had no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But... But I'm kind of the same way. Well... I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money? It's the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. If it's gonna help my friends, I'll do it. And if Kaede and Kaito... <clears throat> and it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things this way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. I didn't ask to hear yours, but you gave it anyways. And you know what? I appreciate you for it. Maki's face remind, remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki. See you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and kept walking. All right. All right, then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off since this morning. I hope that it's nothing serious. Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Oh no, guys, leave her alone. Jeez. Yeah, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at nighttime. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... But Kurumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? But if no one's allowed to walk around at nighttime, the case would have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activities. And what about your activities? Well... Limit? So basically you want to take our freedom away, is that it? My, my! You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? They're both the same, jackass. Uh... We need to remove all worry and doubt, so, so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Atua! So that's what Atua says. How divine! That's what Atua says. <laughs> Atua says... People are afraid of you, Maki, so we prefer it if you were more careful. Hmm. It's for the peace of the Academy. Stop pressing her, guys. Come on. It's Maki we're talking about. Hey, it's Terminator. Terminator? Terminator, right? What's the point of human life? They're boring as useless babies who can't do anything. And 70 years later, they're useless old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's also meaningless. Was that it? <laughs> was that the... That was it. Okay. Time for the Monokuma Theater. By the way, all humans are ruthless.
Wonderful announcement. Great. So, that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at all. Well, I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. All right. Well, let me check the time. Thank you. All right. So, unfortunately, this is where I'm going to end things off for the stream. Because we've been playing for a bit, and my time's up. <laughs> I want to see someone die. We'll see that next time, most likely, depending on how long it goes. Let's take bets. Let's take bets on who's going to die. I feel like Kaito's about to die. I really do. Kaito's about to die. If Kaito doesn't die, then fuck it, it's going to be Angie, right? Because that cult shit can't be, can't do it. You got to stop. Mm -mm, not having it. But, um, uh, shit. But, that'll be it. That'll be it until, um, the next stream, which will be on, um, for those on the, for those on the West Coast. That will be at 11 p.m. on Wednesday. And for those on the East Coast, it will be Thursday at, uh, 2 a.m. Or 11.30, 2.30. You know, sometimes I start a little late. Um, but... Can I tell Liv? I'm really... I'm gonna pray to God that that's not a spoiler. I'm really just gonna... Cross my fingers there. <laughs> Crossing them. Alright. But... Until then... It's gonna be it for this, um, for this stream. Uh, what, what else do I have to say? I feel like there's something I'm missing. Oh yeah, so, on the YouTube, right? Uh, the Psychonauts playthrough, that's done. I'm gonna be starting the, uh, Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin, so the VR game. That's gonna be a short little playthrough before Psychonauts 2 comes out. So for anybody interested in that, that's gonna be going on YouTube later today, probably, maybe, who knows. Um, and I already talked about the stream. I have a Twitter right there on the screen if you're so interested and you want to see me tweet things, I guess. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that's it, really. I don't, I don't have any other announcements or anything like that. Wednesday or Thursday. It's, uh, if you're on, because it's like a late night stream, if you are on the West Coast in the, in the United States, so PST, right? West Coast PSD time around 11 to 11.30 should be the start time for East Coast uh, EST, right? It would be, um, it would be Thursday morning at like 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning, right? That's how the time zones work. So you do that. So, I'll, uh, I'll do what I usually do and just, um, change the, uh, Change the title of the stream to when the next stream will be, right? And, you know, it's also in the schedule, right? Those are those four days that are slotted there. You know, those are the days that I'm most likely to stream. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I really feel like there's something I'm forgetting to talk about. I don't think there is, though. No, I don't think there is. All right. So, that's it for the stream. For those who showed up live, I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Um, for those who are watching the VODs, hope that you're enjoying the playthrough. Really do. And for those who are watching this on YouTube, you're probably watching this super late after the stream was done. So, uh, try and come and catch it live, right? My stream's in the description, and my Twitter's also in the description on the YouTube pages. So... There you go. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.